Hey there guys and gals, just wanna throw a quick video together to show how to use a sprite sheet in Godot. So I'm gonna go ahead and go switch over to the 2D and as you can see I have a blank project here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a sprite and then add an animation player underneath that. Under the sprite, I'm gonna drag my sprite sheet under the texture property. Now, as you can see, it brings in the sprite sheet in my viewport. I'm going to open up the animation and I'm just going to adjust the V-frames and the H-frames. It has 16 V-frames, so pretty much 16 rows. And then it also has 13 H-frames, so pretty much 13 columns. So we're going to go ahead and adjust that now. Go ahead and zoom in here. Now, in order to cycle through the animation, we want to change the frame property, as you can see here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is click on animation, and I'm going to create an idle animation. Go ahead and zoom in here. I can leave it at like one, one second. I'll change the snap setting to 0 0.05 and starting at one. So what we're going to go ahead and do is click this key icon over here on the frame and it'll key it in and because we changed the snap setting to 0 0.05 it auto advances the timeline by that amount so all we need to do is just keep clicking until the right frame and there we are on that and it looks like it actually ended at 0.6 so over here by this stopwatch i'm going to change it to 0.6 and that's how long the animation actually is i'm going to click this uh, loop icon and then let's go ahead and bring the timeline back hit shift d and as you can see it loops through and goes through the animation changing this property right here now uh, this is obviously really fast and if you want to adjust that all we need to do is increase the time here change where the animations actually are change the snap settings so on and so forth and that's how you use it. So if you do have any questions, go ahead and uh, ask them in the comments.